Howdy, it's Herb again for another week. Uh, got a couple of things uh, going on here. Uh, one of the first things I want to show you is uh, I stripped the gear in my uh, servo x-axis feed on the mill uh, and inadvertently uh, rolled a card on it and uh, while it was running and uh, it uh, it stripped out the uh, Zytel gear here uh, if I can find the spot where it stripped it out anyway I think it's uh, it's here somewhere anyway that uh, that stripped out and uh, I ordered a new one from H and W uh, parts and uh, got it in two days, so I was real happy about that. Uh, so we got the uh, got the X axis back running. The other thing uh, I'm doing here, and uh, I did this at first in. Uh, the epoxy didn't, I uh, didn't have enough epoxy on it apparently. But what, what this is, is a uh, welding tip, which I bored out to about 040. Uh, this is a, was an 025 tip. And I bored it out. It's quarter 20, and I just uh, uh, epoxied it on the, uh, the end of this uh, lock line uh, nozzle. Well, uh, while I was uh, working on the next project, uh, it uh, it blew that off. So it just needs to be uh, re-epoxied and uh, sealed a lot better than what it is. Uh, it's no big issue, but that works extremely well on the uh, on the mister on the mill. Uh, just going from and you can change out different sizes. Uh, depending on what you want to do, but I found that 040 and uh, works uh, works just fine for me. And the project I was working on today is a, I saw this online, a picture of it, and I said, hey, that looks very neat. And what it is, it's a combination travel dial and carriage stop. Uh, this is tightened up right now, but this adjust and you can go in and out with it. Uh, it's got a V groove here in the bottom that uh, fits. So this fits over the uh, the ways of my my uh, lathe, and then this if I can find the bolt. The so bolt goes through here, and this goes underneath the uh, ways. And I got it where uh, you can, uh, it's, it's got some uh, uh, radius there on the ends. So this thing turns and it'll pretty well lock in. And then this bolt uh, goes through and you can tighten it up. Uh, Tighten it up and uh, place it wherever you want. Uh, on this end, I uh, I bored this out, and so it fits a uh, a dial in there. And I was going to put a, a, a set screw in from this side, but there's not enough for it to grab because I wanted this thing to seat. I don't know if you can see it. I wanted it to seat uh, where the dial was adjustable and um, you easy to get your hands on it. So I put the set screw in from the back, which I should have thought of in the first place. So that locks it in. You can adjust the dial. And right now I've got this set just a little bit shorter so you can come up on on your, your stop. And I'll, I'll show it in the in action on the lathe here shortly but that's uh, my project and it's uh, this is uh, two inch by one inch uh, 6061 uh, flat bar and uh, 
it uh, it's worked out real well. I, I was real pleased with it, and you might see this this uh, hole goes all the way through, and that's where this threaded portion is. And uh, I only threaded it an inch deep, then over uh, bore to oversize on this side because you only need about an inch of threads. Uh, it's, in fact, I don't know uh, if you need to do much with it at all, but it is adjustable if you want to lock this in place uh, down on this end and adjust your, your uh, stop. So I'll put it together and uh, show it to you on the lathe. Okay, we got it mounted up here now and uh, the battery had run down on the GoPro here, so I had to change that out. So I went ahead and mounted it. It's mounted uh, very sturdy. And uh, so we got the dial indicator in there. So when the carriage comes down, starts turning the dial indicator. There's uh, there's the end. So we'd set that by setting that length there to wherever uh, you're cutting on the part. So then coming down. And it comes up to zero, and there you are. Carriage stop, combination carriage stop and uh, travel dial. Okay, there's one other thing that I wanted to show. Uh, saw John uh, John Mills uh, double boost doing these, and I actually did uh, two. I did one for my uh, for my lathe with an MT3, and this is an R8. And uh, this is a medium size uh, center drill. And uh, get in there and tighten it up. And uh, so you got a real handy center drill. Uh, this, uh, this one still needs a little work. And what I had to do is... Uh, this, this whole thing was hardened, so I had to heat it up, and you can see the discoloration there, so I could drill it out. And I uh, drilled and tapped for a, a quarter 20 uh, set screw, and I probably need to grind a flat on this so it'll, uh, it'll lock in. But I don't think my threads are... Uh, uh, thread it all the way down. I think uh, I think I've got some more uh, tapping to do. It's still pretty hard material and uh, but uh, we'll uh, we'll get it where it uh, where it fits in there. So that's another little uh, another little goodie that uh, we've been working on this week. This is the one for the uh, the lathe. And again, I had to heat it up. And this is a little bit larger center drill. And uh, so that uh, that works quite well for the lathe. And these are just uh, uh, Jacob's taper adapters uh, for an MT3. And this is, of course, an R8 uh, Jacob's tap taper, which uh, I had them surplus here. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.